What happens is that PCOS, it increases the production of a male hormone called androgen, okay? Hey baddies, so today I wanna to talk to you about PCOS and how it impacts and affects hair loss, so how it causes hair loss rather. And so really quickly, you know, PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, what it's better known is may feel like it's a life sentence when it comes to hair loss, but it doesn't have to be. There are treatments, but you have to be treated first for the PCOS so that it can really assist with the hair growth. It's kind of like the analogy that I love of the cup with the hole in it. If you have PCOS, if you know, if you've gone to a gynecologist or if you've gone to a doctor and they've confirmed that you have PCOS, that's the first step, getting a diagnosis and they confirmed it, trying to slather a hair growth oil, use hair growth pills and doing all that stuff is not going to help you with hair growth. It's gonna be like filling a, a, a glass with a hole in it with water is going to constantly be depleted. We need to first go in, seal those holes, and then all the hair growth tactics that you're gonna learn on this channel, by the way, subscribe and like if you're really interested in this video. You're gonna get all the growth stuff that you get out of this channel is gonna actually be effective and it's gonna work for you. So now let's move into PCOS, what it is, what it means, okay? So let's go into what PCOS is, okay? So PCOS is basically a hormonal disorder that causes a lot of small cysts to surround or pretty much just permeate your ovaries, okay? It's a hormonal disorder, it's different for different folks. I know in some people, it could be that you're not menstruating and you're not ovulating the way you're supposed to, so those, you're not releasing eggs as you should. But there's so many different reasons why someone can have PCOS, but essentially what it is, is many, many cysts on your ovaries, okay? And it's a hormonal disorder. And of course, you know, symptoms can include menstrual irregularities, excess hair loss, unfortunately, really bad acne and obesity, okay? So if you find yourself struggling with hair loss, that hair loss and hair thinning that won't grow back, acne that no matter what you put on it, how many YouTube videos you watch, and even how many creams that are like, like they swear can help you, it's not helping you and you're not losing the weight. It could more than likely be all hormonal for you. You're struggling with your home hormone cysts and we need to regulate those hormones, okay? Hey, Batty, are you losing your hair? Yes, you are because you're on this channel. Anyway, listen, if those hair oils, DIY treatments, and hair growth pills are not working to help you regrow or thicken your hair, hear me, you've tried everything and it does not work, go ahead and join the Hair Script community and let us help you effectively regrow your hair by giving you access to proven methods that are backed by receipts, honey, and effective products that will give you impactful results for free 99, okay? Yes, I said it, free 99. We partner with dermatologists, trichologists, and other healthcare practitioners to bring you real solutions for your hair loss. And you don't even have to leave your home. So stop being lazy, okay? Stop struggling to figure this out. Quit playing sis and just click the link below to join the community and get your freebies before it ain't free no more. Don't say I ain't tell you, bye. Now let's talk about the reason why PCOS contributes to hair loss, which is why you're here and why you care. is because, you know, what happens is that PCOS, it increases the production of a male hormone called androgen, okay? This male hormone androgen, by the way, it doesn't increase the hormone that increases your sex drives, okay? Because I asked, I was like, well, doctor, I was on the spectrum for PCOS, but I, I was dealing with something else hormonal, but anyway, that's not this video. Long story short, you know, I was, I was like, doctor, well, if I have a, a increase in this male hormone, then I sh my libido shouldn't be in the ground. Like, it shouldn't be shot to hell. Like, and the doctor was like, yeah, unfortunately, this is not the one that has anything. Not, this is not the, the hormone that has anything to do with your libido. So I'm just letting you know. For those of y'all who hear that you have more of this male hormone and you're like, well, what's good? I mean, I should be a little more like, you know. No, it's not that one. Anyway, sorry. Side note, the reason why PCOS contributes to your hair loss is because it, it increases this androgen. So androgen is also, if you look at all these men with, you know, the shadows, the, the Caesar, or, you know, they have the moon roof, the sun roof, whatever we call it. A lot of them, they have this hormone that's androgen that's also associated with DHT, aka DHT and all of that good stuff. That's just a, a follicle killer, okay? 
it's the follicle killer, it's the serial killer of your hair, hair follicles. It's gonna go and choke the life out your follicles over time, okay? And so you have an increased production of this androgen that's going to potentially do the same thing for you. So don't worry, don't freak out, okay? This is not what this is not what this video is about. Now, if you go and look at my story, you'll see where my hair was falling out and all that good stuff because I was I was diagnosed with androgenic alopecia, okay? AKA female pattern hair loss, the female version of male pattern hair loss. And my hair completely just it just it just fell out. It just fell out, okay, to an oblivion. It went to hell and now it's born again. So if it can work for me, sis, it can work for you, okay? Join the community, you're not by yourself. Anyway, so how do we do this? What are some treatments for, or treatment options? Now, believe it or not, while it's always like, it's something that can help you and hurt you at the same time. The polarity, the duality of, of birth control pills just continue to just blow minds, okay? But it depends if you're using it correctly, if you're using the right grade, the right dose, and if you're working with a doctor to help you who is constructing this, this hair growth and this hormonal balance plan with you, okay? So don't do this by yourself. Don't just go and get birth control on your own because you've seen a commercial. So anyway, birth control can help you regulate those hormones that is going to reduce that androgen, help you increase that estrogen and help you to start thickening your hair and growing your hair back, okay? Again, there is no one size fit all birth control. There is no one size fit all birth control pill, woman, chemistry, hormone, okay? You are unique, just like your fingerprint is unique. So you have to go first see, well, I always say go see a dermatologist, right, for hair loss, but if we're talking about PCOS, go see a gyno and a derm. They can work together if you have a good one. If you don't, click the link down below. We'll, we'll plug you, because we're the plug to hair growth experts um, that specialize in skin and hair of color. Anyway, if you don't have one, click the link below, whatever. Anyway, what you need to do is find a dermatologist, have your gyno, and they can work together to help you construct a hair growth, but a hormonal balance regimen, okay? So those pills, those birth control pills, depending on the one that you're using, the grade, the concentration, all of that is really just designed to kind of shift your hormones back into gear to help you ovulate, to help remove, to, to kind of help reduce those cysts or to help really just regulate your hormones and help you menstruate more. And then to really help boost estrogen and other female hormones that's gonna help to thicken and grow your hair again, okay? So yes, in some cases, if you if you watch my video how um, birth control can cause hair loss, absolutely. So in those cases, go ahead and watch those, that video and it gives you more details about that. But this is very unique to someone with PCOS or in hormonal imbalance, okay? Who's not ovulating, who's not menstruating frequently. This is a unique case to you. Not necessarily using birth control for birth control, right? Hey, baddie, are you losing your hair? Yes, you are because you're on this channel. Anyway, listen. If those hair oils, DIY treatments, and hair growth pills are not working to help you regrow or thicken your hair, hear me, you've tried everything and it does not work, go ahead and join the Hair Script community and let us help you effectively regrow your hair by giving you access to proven methods that are backed by receipts, honey, and effective products that will give you impactful results for free 99, okay? Yes, I said it, free 99. We partner with dermatologists, trichologists, and other healthcare practitioners to bring you real solutions for your hair loss. And you don't even have to leave your home. So stop being lazy, okay? Stop struggling to figure this out. Quit playing sis and just click the link below to join the community and get your freebies before it ain't free no more. Don't say I ain't tell you, bye. The next option is minoxidil. If you don't know, if you've been under a rock, if you are not subscribed to this channel, minoxidil is the only FDA approved medication that is specifically targeted for female and male baldness, okay? Specifically for androgenic alopecia or female male ha um, pattern hair loss, hair loss that's specifically associated with that hormone. Especially if you're seeing thinning, minoxidil, whether you're taking it topically or systemically, meaning you're taking an oral minoxidil that's going through your system and, and hitting the blood system, the blood stream, um, to help you internally, whichever one depends on your dermatologist, right? The topical form has to be at least 5%, by the way, to be effective. If it's anything less than 5%, it's just a waste of time. It's just there for marketing, right? 
Long story short, minoxidil is gonna help you increase, really help thicken your ha hair, at least the, the appearance of it is gonna start to fill in your hair in those, those kind of more thinner, balder areas. So minoxidil is really good, but of course, I never recommend just going and buying Rogaine, right? I feel that you need to connect with a dermatologist who's gonna put you on a hair growth regimen that's gonna help you to, you know, because it's, it's just so many different factors that goes into hair growth. It's not just one magic pill, lotion, potion, you know, oil. It's all everything all encompassing and you want the right cocktail that's going to bring you the optimal amount of hair growth for you. Because what my cocktail was may not be the cocktail that works for you. Anyway, that's minoxidil. And then, of course, when we're talking specifically about PCOS and hair loss, weight loss, depending on whether or not you're a candidate for weight loss is really good because the more weight you lose, the more you reduce the androgen, your androgen levels, it decrease, okay? So weight loss, I know it's almost like, well, it's, it seems like it's a double-edged sword because of the androgens, it's hard to lose the weight, but it's one of those things where you might have to work with a nutritionist, you might have to go the extra mile and work with a trainer. You know, these are all things that you, it's almost like if you know about renovating a home, you know, you can't do the floors first without painting the walls, right? You gotta paint the walls first, then you redo the floors. If not, you're gonna mess up the floor. Like, and I hope I'm saying this right. For those of you who are into home renovations and improvements and designers, please don't come for me. And if you are, come for me in the comments to boost my engagement, thank you. Yeah, but it's just like you have to wait for one process to be done so that you can move on to the next process, right? If you're gutting a, a bathroom, you can't tile it before you go ahead and sheet rock it, okay? That's easier, I'm, I'm making more sense now. So the bottom line is, again, that hole in the cup analogy says, don't try to do anything if you're not first balancing your hormones with PCOS. Let's address the PCOS first, take your time, address the PCOS, and then the hair growth is just gonna fill on in. That's what I did. Again, I did not have PCOS, I was on a spectrum but I did have androgenic alopecia and I had a lot of hormonal issues as well as not ovulating as I should have, okay? You know, it's just, all I'ma say is, it's a blessing getting older, okay? Don't let this, this, you know, these cheeks, okay? Don't let these, this bone structure fool you. She is not a spring chicken, but um, I wish a 20 something would, but I love y'all. I love y'all, cause y'all watch me. So anyway, you could be a baddie at any age between your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, honey. Subscribe to the channel. I hope this was helpful for you. I like to get straight to the point now because y'all tell me I talk too much like I'm doing right now. And yeah, like drop some comments down below if this was helpful. If these were great treatments for you, if you have PCOS, please, 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 first things first, go to a dermatologist, and a gynecologist get your diagnosis if you don't already have one balance your hormones then work with a dermatologist to put together to craft the perfect hair growth plan for you to regrow your hair once you close up the whole the holes seal up the holes in your glass cup okay and if you don't know where to start if you don't know where to find a derm or anybody link down below honey and we will plug you because we at Hair Scripts are the plug. Okay, love you, baddie. Goodbye.